Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Mirror's Edge, where last time uh, we confronted the wrestler, uh, Rope Burn, uh, who apparently was taking money for... I forget exactly what he was taking money, it was just a week ago and it's already gone. Um, but he got shot. He's dead now. So whatever crimes he was doing, uh, there's nothing more he can do to answer to them. Oh yeah, he was going to meet up with this, uh... Uh, he was gonna meet up with this other person. Uh, the killer themselves, who had turned their back on him. I presume they was going to meet with the Carol killer, because it would really be odd for the killer to be there anymore, knowing that Ropeburn is dead. Uh... Uh... Alright. Yay, she grabbed onto it this time. The actual, like... The actual physics of latching onto things sometimes can be a little bit spotty in this game. It should be a way up onto the overpass in section three and four. Anybody paying attention? Nobody's paying attention. Fantastic. I wonder if there are actually guys farther down that walkway, and if you just decide, you know what? If I, if you walked down there, would you actually find? Would you find blues over there, ready to ruin your day? Street level access goes nowhere. <clears throat> ah, there. There we go. Like, why would... It, again, it seems as though the city has an abnormal amount of police officers. Oh, yep. It's because there are tons of police officers there. Uh, has an abnormal amount of police officers to crime. Which is probably... Get down track the next uh, which direction are the trains coming from? Oh, there's the train. With a little bit of, um... A little bit of Jacob's Ladder going on there. That's the goal. Uh... No, I don't see it. <laughs> oh. And I'm starting way down here. The alley is between sections... Okay. Why is he giving me that information so early before I even know that I should be on the train in the first... Okay. So I found the track, track number three. But I didn't specifically find track number four, and I'm still not entirely convinced that it was to my left. Like, there's track number three. Okay. It's probably not in this direction, I guess. If I'm just... Oh, nope, there's track four. Nope. Nope. And there I go again. Okay. Maybe I shall remember that the fact that there is a B button that will guide me, because clearly the game... It, like again, it's, there's again. It feels like there's a lot of trial and error to this game, especially if you're new to the game. Um, I've played this a couple of times, but 
at this point, I don't remember where anything is. Um, I think I probably remember the first level more than anything else. And then after that, everything is very blurry. Okay. Oh. I have to go in that direction. <laughs> So, I'm on the track that... Oh! Now I see it. And... there we go. Fantastic. You know, I would imagine, considering the high police presence, like, once they start shooting guys, like, wouldn't they cancel whatever... whatever public presentation is going on there? Or is that just, a uh, Armed conflict in Sir Daristan worsens. U.S. contemplates in intervention. Armed separatists from Tazbikistan have a laid siege to the Sir Dari border. Threats to our way of life or urban myth. Is there still a November? November has been cancelled. It is October forever. Life has become a never ending Halloween. Alright. So that looks like I should be jumping across there. But I'm guessing the answer is no. Um, now, are they telling me to stop because... Nope. And I have no idea where those guys came from. <clears throat> Alright. So it seems as though I've acquired some modicum of freedom. Although it would be nice uh, if I knew exactly where I was going. Um, without having to constantly press the B button to guide me. Like if there was some means aside from like the red on the Okay, so I need to go there. Blues are over there. That. Nope. They're on. Who parked their bike on the on the roof of this building? How do they even get their bike up here? Are we up against uh, even greater danger than runners? Uh, Bicyclists. Like a rogue team of bicyclists that are roaming the rooftops. Alright, he didn't get knocked off the side of the building. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I think there's one more guy over... Damn it. Um... She rounded the corner way faster than I was expecting. <laughs> and yes, I will blame her entire faith entirely on uh, my poor ability in combat, because the combat in this game is not very good. But this is an established fact. Okay. Oh, hello. That was not very convenient to be uh, 
shot at during that entire time. Um, do I have to fight them? Can I just skip right ahead? Excuse me, I'm busy punching you in the junk. Alright. I'm gonna wait for this guy to pop up over there, and then I'm going to... get past him. Um, where? Oh, I have to climb up that tube. And that's gonna be problematic if people are shooting at me. All right, <clears throat> rest, relax, have a good time. Is he just gonna stand there and wait for me? Yep. Get. Unfortunately, fighting bad guys on the stairs is problematic because you can't slide upstairs. Okay, so now he's knocked off the building, which is fine. Why did I decide I'm doing this as a pacifist run when I can just kind of like steal one of their guns and start shooting people? And thusly my playthrough ends. So long, Internet. Ah! It was good while it lasted. Although... <clears throat> ah! Now who's shooting at me? Oh. I don't know how that worked. Uh, I'm glad it did. I guess now that go goes back to that previous question. Um, is Faith's uh, usage of guns an act of self-defense? Or does that just make her guilty of... Uh, do, or does this that just make her a murderer? Um, I guess it also depends on the idea is if you believe the police in this world are wrong, and considering the fact that they're being used as tools to cover up murder. Also, um, consider the fact that, uh, that, uh, it's not exactly like Faith's hands are necessarily clean herself. Um, there's, uh, unless you manage to defeat that one guy on the scaffolding uh, without killing him, because that is a little bit of a trickier job to do, um, considering he just runs directly in front of you while you are running. So it, it basically seems as though the game sets him up for a fall. Nope. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Let's try run... Nope. At the very least, the checkpoint is right there. So it could be worse. That seemed like it was close enough. I missed the jump off the rooftop. I was holding down the, <laughs> the left analog stick. You know, if the white didn't blend in with the white. I remember, this kind of reminds me of uh, Yahtzee's review of Mirror's Edge. And I remember him saying that the problem is because you can't see your feet. Um... That it, it become like the actual timing starts to get a little difficult.
I feel as though that last jump was better than the game decided it would be. Uh, I forgot that the jump button was the left shoulder button. Hmm. I wonder if there is a much easier way that I could be doing this other than... There we go. Finally. And really, I guess you can say that a large amount of the development of this game is in testing. The more testing this game gets, and I, not, not just regular testing, but like you, this game would need a lot of outside testing. Because, like, it's... or else it'll kind of create a... Uh, kind of create a situation like, um... Like in Battletoads. Like, in the video game Battletoads, most of the people that tested it... Um, were just more or less the game developers. Um... And that led to, uh, like, Battletoads' uh, difficulty was not necessarily just a conscious choice. Okay. But also a choice that was resulting from, like, the game developers had simply just got too good at their own game. So I would imagine a game like Mirror's Edge would have to have uh, a similar sort of testing. Because otherwise, like, you would have uh, people who are just really good at following this, figuring out the specific paths, uh, and then following them. Uh, you would have uh, less issues with seeing how new people react to uh, any specific section of gameplay. Ah, uh, I wanted to slide. Also, there are bicycles everywhere on these rooftops. Is this... is there just no street level uh, bicycle parking? That's that, that might be actually a thing then. If there's no street level bicycle parking, this would mean that everybody who wants to ride their bike to work do you dream of an apartment on Arlington Drive? Uh, everybody who bikes to work needs to uh, essentially take their bike to the roof of the building and park it there. And there is only one person who bikes to work per building. Also, the contrast between gray, white, and red is very nice. Yeah, the New Eden Mall's grand opening. I wonder what's for sale. Um, uh, all right. There we go. Are there police in here? I thought the blues uh, moved on from their life. Or is that a news, uh, like a news television somewhere? Dirk Diggler's Donuts. Mmm. Ropeburn was meant to be meeting his little friend in the atrium, right? Well, it should oh, be just that. Hello. How are you? Shit. Oh, no. 
And dead in an instant. <clears throat> ah! I'd like to avoid death, please. Although this essentially means that Roper and his friend is working with the police. Uh, excuse me, I believe I need to... Which means they kept it off of the chatter because they know the people are listening. You know, that's what they tell everybody in a horror movie. You need to go upstairs, not out of the building. But then I guess everybody is downstairs, so... There we go. Nope, that missed all of that. Um, hmm. I wonder if that was actually... I wonder if that was actually the path I was supposed to go, or whether I was supposed to go down towards the police, which I would imagine is unlikely. Considering the police have guns. And I have zero guns. Alright. Let's try the other path. Oh. Can I go up that away? Ah. Okay. That's what I was doing wrong. Instead of taking a left, I should have kept on going. A little bit of trial and error there. Uh, Rightio. And then drop down. Hopefully roll in time. Thank you. Okay. So that's the way out. I'm trying. Yeah. <gasps> Very convenient to have the uh, power shut down right next to the fan. All right. And now I'm in the orange zone of them all. Ah! Excuse me, sir. Why does that gun have so many bullets? <laughs> Alright, anybody else want some? Oh my. Un it's also kind of interesting uh, that like if you consider the uh, the repercussions of doing a uh, no kill run a pacifist run of uh, Mirror's Edge means you're essentially uh, being given aspects of gameplay and ignoring them uh, for the purposes of challenge more than anything else. Because it doesn't affect the story. Hmm. It looks like I'm just back here again. Oh. 
I need to go all the way back up top. Probably need to run, jump off something. Yep, there we go. I wonder if I could have... Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. And then this should lead me out and over. Let's knock that out. Run, jump, jump again. Nope, that did not work. Which means that, um... Oh! It started me after my whole rampage. That means that this version of Faith shall forever remain a killer. Alright, jump across, jump over there, and we're out. So that was a pretty obvious trap, I mean. Okay, I can just land on the shelf. And everything is a-okay. Yeah, it's... Like, to expect, um... To expect the meeting with Ropeburn to still go exactly the same way, despite the fact that Ropeburn is now dead. I don't know, but I think I know someone who does. Like it's it's it, it would be unexpected to believe that uh, everything would be going all right. Is this a uh, jackknife? Hey, Faithy. Nice of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, Ropeburn was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? But when I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzels. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy! It wasn't me! <laughs> also, Ropern is dead, so... If I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. I don't know if that I makes like you trustworthy. No, don't be like that. Ropern's dead. I'm impressed. It wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. Oh, I learned that a long time. Who you hang around with? Here we are again. Ah. Uh, uh. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short, Faye. Places to be. You know how it is. Also, I don't think anybody actually got anything out of that Mark, whole dialogue. Mark, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Ferrandella Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? So basically, we have this plot point in which uh, she meets up with uh, Jackknife in hopes of um, getting some information. But it turns out the information she needed was from a nearby billboard, which is a little bit odd. It's 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 a bit definitely a little bit convenient that it happens to actually lead to where she needs to go. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. <laughs> bay should be a way in. All right. Jump up there. Excellent. Can I take the stairs? Possibly not. No. Also, what's in this direction? Ah! 
There we are. We actually found one of these dumb briefcase thingies. Hmm. Now, can I... Can I jump there from here? Because it doesn't really seem like I can jump anywhere else. Excellent! I can! It's a good thing that people just left out their forklift here as they were moving around four pallets for no particularly good reason. Do I have to... Okay, so I have to get up there. There we go. You know, considering all the cameras, like, you'd think that would be the end of uh, a runner's career, considering the fact that there are just cameras everywhere. But it seems that whoever's uh, actually looking through those cameras uh, is just not paying attention. Or at the very least, there are enough ca uh, cameras missing from more underground locations. Uh, that allow runners to constantly get away. Also, what does the society can think of these runners? Like, are... Like, there's the news networks that are all like, is your child a runner? Have you seen them come home with scrapes and cuts and bruises along with calluses on their arms and legs and hands? Like, their leg is no longer a leg anymore. It is just one giant callus. Yeah. Like, how does... How does society view the runner? Take that, door. Like, are they indifferent to runners? Do they consider runners to be a useful... Like, I don't think you really get that in this game. I think you get a little bit better of an idea of that in uh, Catalyst. Uh, but not necessarily here. Um, as in for, like, how, do the, how does society view the government in general? Like, clearly there, there were protests some years back. And the protests got violent. But did they just stop protesting? Because I would imagine that's not necessarily how protesting works. That. Nope. We got snipers. Do I got a scope? I do. All right, there goes one. There goes two. And I think there's some guys shooting at me. Like, they're on ground level shooting at me with assault rifles. Hoping for the best, I guess. See, the... You're supposed to, like, dodge out of cover. You're not supposed to just stand. Oh, nope. In cover, your head peeking out the whole time. Alright. So apparently I need to go in this direction. I believe this is the area that has more of the uh, puzzles, like the machine-related puzzles. 
been a while since I've played the game, but I do remember there was one sequence that involved uh, some platform moving. And I remember when I was played it for the first time, it was kind of confusing. So hopefully I do a better job this time, uh, based on current experience with the other areas. Uh, the expectation is probably uh, I'm just going to do just as poorly. Okay. That did not seem to go very well. But I'm here, so... I guess I'll go in this direction? Oh, hello. Okay. That's what I get for backing up, but... Maybe I shouldn't head straight for that guy. Are there any other guys here that I can... Jeez. <laughs> I guess there is at least one other guy who kills you instantaneously. Um, and I think that's definitely one of the things that... That is more convenient about Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Is that uh, when you come up across people, uh, they don't immediately kill you. So I'm going to try to disarm this guy. Um, I missed the disarm, which unfortunately means I'm going to take some bullets. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try disarming him again. Because unfortunately I don't exactly know where in that room um, I'm supposed to go. And I'm dead. Hmm. It's too bad that I have to keep opening up the door first. Like, the door isn't just automatically open. Ah, jeez. Okay, I guess I have to go up there. Again, it seems like there's like some th sort of explosion on that side that prevents uh, Faith from progressing. Okay. Let's try to go a different... Ah, oh, there's actually barrels with explosives in it. Nope, not that way. Um, okay. So I can't just run up on these guys. Let's try a different angle of approach. You know, it would be nice if uh, Faith could take more than just one or two bullets. Like, it makes sense um, in regards to... Uh, it makes sense in regards to the, the nature of the game, as you're a runner. Uh, have Taking only um, a few bullets before you die encourages your character to run more than anything else. Alright. And I had not recovered from the previous attack and immediately die. So it seems that it would be a good idea to disarm this guy and then jump down. Or hopefully disarm the guy in the, the first attack because that's Subsequent uh, hits don't exactly do me many favors. Mm. 
It's times like these in which I'm kind of like, I look at, uh, specifically, uh, Mike Matei over at Cinemassacre, and I wonder exactly, uh, uh, if he's necessarily having any fun playing, uh, some of the games that he starts to get frustrated on. Especially when I watched his, like, uh, Let's Plays of, like, the Turtle, the first Turtles game, um, where it's like, ah, there's, uh, explosives right under there. Uh, that's what's blowing up. Alright. Okay, I don't need to defeat them, I just need to get past this guy. Although I'm not- I'm still not entirely sure where I should be going. Okay, ran out of bullets. So apparently I still should be heading in that direction. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn. Um, because uh, replaying through that same section over and over again, uh, it got pretty frustrating. Uh, it led to questions of like, was this game ever really fun? Um, It also kind of um, makes it seem as though it was a mistake on the developer's part to announce that, uh... to talk about the, um... pacifist mode, um, along with its achievement. Because of the way that it kind of instructs the gamer in regards to how to play. Uh, consider... Consider, for instance, um... my little tale of playing Battlefield Hardline. Um, okay, I can't actually... I jumped too quickly because I should have... I would imagine I would need to turn that off. Is there a way to turn that off? Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure if I just jump directly into the steam, that's just gonna kill me. Oh, the steam turns off. Or at least, it did turn off. Hmm. Now what else am I supposed to do? So I jumped there. Okay. Uh, so in Battlefield Hardline, uh, one of the things I did when playing that game was I played it on hard mode, which is something that I usually don't. Um, and the result of that was uh, when I was playing it on hard mode, I spent more of my time sneaking, uh, less of my time shooting, because the sh actual like run and gun gameplay of it uh, got very difficult. Hmm. Nope. No, that's just a door that goes... <gasps> that goes nowhere. Alright. Okay, so this is the puzzle area, I think. Um, but the actual, like, running and gutting and hardline got pretty tricky for me. Uh, so, 
any time that I could stealth, I tended to choose stealth over any other action because that meant uh, I would spend less time getting shot at, which would mean less time dying. Like, like the final section of the game uh, is a forced action scene where there, you have to fight your way through. And it took me quite a few tries to actually make it through on hard mode because I'm just not that good. I'm not, and I'm not uh, good enough at, ga at games to tackle them all really on hard mode which is the main reason I don't. Uh, but that essentially meant that the majority of the time I was playing the game, uh, it informed uh, my method of play. If, for instance, hmm, I played this game on, I played a uh, hardline on normal. Hmm, I wonder if I'm supposed to Climb up somewhere. Like here. Like if I played it on normal, then perhaps the gunfights wouldn't be as difficult. And I would have spent more time shooting enemies rather than arresting enemies. That? Okay. So that just goes around. And over that way. No, I didn't want to jump over. I wanted to... Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, there's a path over me. Um, there we go. And now I can jump, and jump. I forgot that these phones were a thing. Ah, okay. So there's the opposite side of that. Alright, is that announcing my presence to bad guys also in the room? You must be. It's it's got to be impossible for you not to be getting close. So let's jump across. No. Let's run across the wall and then jump. Does this actually... Oh, yep, it does. And let's run and have an unnecessary pull. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Like, the idea that you'd have multiple avenues to exploit. Like, I, I guess maybe the designers of the game expected you to just run and jump and then grab onto the pole in order to swing. Nope. <clears throat> okay, how far back is that putting me? Okay, that's putting me up here. Which is slightly ahead of where I was. Slightly enough that I'd actually have to turn back uh, in order to run. Okay. Now let's just do the run jump. Yeah. Yeah, there's like the way they expect you to do it. I wonder if they expect you to run and jump there too. Ah. 
Okay, just didn't grab onto either pole. Good enough, though. Um, okay, this path... This, uh... Elevator platform here, I believe I need to raise up. That way I can... Get underneath. I think. Excellent. Oh. Hello. It's a good thing nobody's looking at any of these security cameras. Otherwise, I might have been might be slightly screwed. Also, it's a good thing that there's no remote method of opening or closing those doors. It's only the future after all. Ah, and I believe this is where you confront the uh, killer. Jackpot. It is very convenient <laughs> that uh, it just opens up to a search uh, bar. Oh yeah! These are the guys that are trained to fight uh, runners. Can you actually beat them up or do you just have to run from them? Um, and they run pretty much your speed, I believe. Yeah. Excuse me, sirs. I'm trying to get past you, if you do not mind. Like, I forget if you can actually fight them. Or fight them in some sort of meaningful capacity. But where am I supposed to go? Oh! I go in this direction. Excuse me. This feels like a training course. I wonder if it's because it is. Like it is an actual training course for anti-runners. Like are runners really that much of a problem that uh, the police uh, need a uh, secret project to take them down? <clears throat> Breaking news. Callahan calls emergency session at Shard. If your home base is titled Shard. Illicit transport at an all-time high. Well, I would imagine if everything that is being transported is illicit, then I would imagine... Nope. That would explain why such transport is at an all-time high. Like, if you've made everything illegal to transport, but people are still trying to transport it. Like you could say that uh, before the prohibition, um, after the after uh, alcohol is prohibited. Uh, There's some train tracks up ahead of me. That the usage of alcohol, uh, illegal alcohol drinking, is at an all-time high. Excuse me. Moi. 
Was I supposed to hang on? I'm guessing... I'm guessing I was supposed to have landed on the train. But that isn't necessarily entirely clear. Okay, now it was the uh, train was on the other side of the tracks. It's not exactly very easy to plan ahead if your if the trains are constantly switching tracks. Good enough. And she ran. She ran all night and day. That's Pope's killer, Mark. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot. You'll be spotted for sure. There must be some way to slip in undercover. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.